Welcome to Radio NL Sports Scene. I'm your host, Larry Reed. This show has the main goal of promoting sports and athletes from the Kamloops area. We're going to talk women's hockey right now on the program as the Kamloops Vibe are around for another season, which is great news, and they have a new head coach in Sheldon Morris. And uh, Sheldon, uh, thanks for uh, joining us on the program today. Uh, congratulations on taking over the, the head coaching uh, position. Uh, what are your thoughts? Yeah, thanks, Larry, for having us. Um, yeah, it's good. Um, I've been out of the coaching for a couple of years. Um, my daughter still plays, and um, Jerry and Colleen Smith, who have ran the team for uh, the last seven or eight years, have done a great job, but they've uh, decided to step away. So they're in need of somebody to step up and take over. So um, I guess I'm the guy this year. Nice. Well, congratulations. Uh, what are your thoughts? Uh, how is, how's the team looking? Team's looking really good. Um, we got a real good core of girls that have played on the Vibe for a number of years, so are coming back. But we're also um, adding five or six new younger girls coming into the program, which is good because you know don't know how long the core is going to be around, how many more years. So it's uh, we're kind of replenishing from the bottom and bringing in some new blood. Women's hockey, how is is it? St- starting to turn around or it's obviously in in popularity you know the olympics and all that sort of stuff uh uh, how about here in kamloops and with the vibe uh women's hockey is um kind of goes year to year um some years you get a lot of girls participating and uh sometimes you get the the quieter years Uh, but all in all i think it's slowly growing um i thought 10 years ago when i got involved with kamloops minor hockey in the female program that 10 years till now um, it would have grown a little bit faster, but um, it is in- increasing, but at a little bit slower rate than I thought it was going to. You alluded to the fact that the core of your team is uh, getting to uh, be uh, elder statesmen, for lack of a better term. Uh, uh, tell me a little bit about the core. Where do you see the team strengths being? Um, the team strengths, uh, the core of the team came up with a very successful minor hockey program, um, few years older than my daughter's age so I never really had too much to do with them but they had a very winning uh, team a couple of provincial titles um, so the the strength of their that core of the group is uh, they don't really know how to lose uh, they're very determined uh, they know how to win and that's something tough to teach you can teach all the on ice stuff but winning and that winning attitude uh, they've already got it and they've continued it on with their years with the vibe it's it's a pleasant dilemma to have i would imagine oh it's a great dilemma um even you know like I said some of them are getting in their mid to late 20s and um, they still have a passion for the game and they all all the girls have either busy lives with the university or with their young careers working careers and uh, but they still have a passion for the game when they step on the ice so you have those veterans, and then you mentioned the young players that are just coming up, and then do you have like a, a second level of players, and I'm thinking of, about your daughter and, and Alyssa Reed as, as two examples maybe. Yeah, my daughter, is, this will be her third year playing on the Vibe, and uh, Reader has, I think, been there for about five years, and uh, that will be the next core of the team that's probably with us for the next three or four years. Cool. Where do you see the strengths in terms of, uh, like, are you a high-scoring team, tough on defense? I understand you've got a, 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 at least last year you had a pretty good goaltender. Yeah, Ashley F- uh, Fisher is uh, just amazing for us. Um, she's just our uh, rock back there for us. Um, yeah, and we kind of build from the goalie out. Uh, we won uh, the Western Championships two years ago and uh, the Provincials again last year. And uh, with any great championship team, it's from the goalie out and – we have a pretty really solid defense core and uh, Ashley does her thing back there and uh, yeah we got some girls up front that uh, can chip the bucks in the net. As far as uh, your brand of hockey is it going to be radically different than uh, uh, what the Vibe have played the last few years? Uh, not not too much um, obviously every coach brings their own thing in um, I'll probably activate the de- defense a little bit more uh, jumping up in the play pinching a little bit more um, compared to Jerry was a little bit more conservative that way but uh, I can't argue with Jerry's success he's had a lot of success with the Vive in the last seven or eight years so um, maybe I'm doing the wrong thing by tinkering (laughs) with something. Do you feel any pressure as you mentioned he he did have a a pretty distinguished career with this team? Um, Not really Um, it is what it is Um, you know at the bottom line uh, none of these girls are still out to make Team Canada they just uh, want to go out and play as a competitive round of hockey and uh, at the end of the day if that's what they do and everybody gives it 100% and has fun um, 
you know, really that's all what it's still all about. How about the lake? Are you going to wind up traveling to Vancouver and, and the Lower Mainland a lot again this year? Yeah, so um, we're the only interior team, um, and the rest are all made out of uh, six teams out of Vancouver and one out of Victoria. So um, all six teams make one weekend trip up here to visit us during the season. And to cut our travel down to Vancouver, we play four games a weekend, so it cuts our travel down there in half. So we're down there for four weekends during the season and uh, then for provincials at the end of the season. So five trips we make down there. Great. So the end of October, I think the 28th, your home opener. Tell us a little bit about that. What's your home rink? Uh, our home rink is kind of all over the place. Um, <laughs> we got a lot of Saturday games uh, over at MacArthur Island Olympic, and then Sunday morning games, are a lot of them are at Memorial Arena. But uh, we'll have the schedule on the uh, website, the Camels 5 website. So if anybody's uh, interested in coming out and supporting us, just check out the website and uh, come see us. Nice. So aside from winning another provincial title, what other goals have you set for yourself and the team this year? Uh, obviously, uh, the every year with the Vive is to win the provincials. Uh, we expect to be there again uh, this year, especially with the team we got coming back and the new girls we brought in. Um, but other than that, you know, I just uh, want to leave the program. If I'm coming back next year or whoever takes over the following year, uh, just as any coach every year, you just want to leave it in better shape than what you, you received it. And uh, whoever takes it on next year, be it me or whoever, um, it's just a st still a strong program and a lot of girls interested in playing in it. Hockey, obviously a team sport, but you must have some players that stand out in, uh, more than any other, I guess, in terms of leaders or, or the, the names to watch when, when one comes to a vibe game. Who should they look to, uh, to uh, be some of the leaders out there? Well, we got uh, Rochelle Smith is always uh, at the top of the league in scoring, so uh, we count on her to do a lot of scoring for us. Um, again, Alyssa Reed is a big player for us. Um, yeah, we just, we, you know, we just got three really solid, good lines of girls, and um, you know, on defense, uh, just five, five or six girls that really can play defense together well. It doesn't matter who we throw them out as a defense partner with uh, they just adapt quickly and then you know Ashley's a big presence for us and a leader on the back end too. Well Sheldon uh, good luck this season I know we'll catch up with you maybe halfway through and then at the end of the season uh, again uh, people can go to the Vibe website uh, for more information and uh, what is that or just google Camels Vibe? Just google Camels Vibe or um, track me down if uh, any girls are interested in still um, coming out uh, we're our team is pretty full, but um, we're always looking for APs. Just in the fact that our girls are so busy with uh, university and their young working careers that uh, they can't be there 100% of the time. So we're always looking for uh, the odd girl to fill in here and there. So if, if any new girls to town or minor hockey uh, graduates or interested, uh, just go to the website and send me an email and uh, I'll get back to you. All right, he is Sheldon Morris, the head coach of the Kamloops Vibe. Last season, Connor Ingram was backstopping not only the Kamloops Blazers, 